G'day, my name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial to show you how to prevent your Samsung Smart TV from deleting your installed applications every time you turn on your TV. This has been an ongoing issue for many years. A lot of people want to bash Samsung for it, but it's not actually their fault. They make great TVs that outlast many others, so therefore this is more known with Samsung TVs than some of the cheaper brands that fail early. Now, after a few years of making a TV and after a few years of the TV stopped being in production, Samsung stopped updating the OS. The OS contains shared keys or certificates that match up with the software developers. Software developers go and change their certificate keys all the time for some reason, and therefore when they produce a new version of the application, your TV's OS is gonna say, this is an unknown application, we can't confirm the developer, so it deletes it. It's a safety mechanism to stop you from bricking, or I don't know, sheeting your TV. Not quite a brick, is it? Anyway, let's get to it. You're going to hit your menu button on your remote, whatever button it is that brings up this menu. You're going to press up once to go to support. Then you're going to go to software update. And from there, you're going to turn off auto updates. Now I've already got mine off and I'm not going to turn it on to show you the error because every time you do that, it deletes all your applications along with the credentials to sign into those applications. That's why it's so frustrating for people because navigating around on the keyboard on these to enter your email and your password is hideous. It's great for known things, but when you're trying to pull in a password that might be random numbers and letters, it's not fun, trust me. So once that's done, turn off your TV. Turn your TV back on. And we're gonna wait for the TV to boot up. I'm just gonna to move to a channel so I can not blur out to the image that's there. Where's a radio station? There we go, let's watch some credits. Can't get done for copyright showing you credits, can I? Normally there'd be a box showing up on the screen by now telling you that it is deleting applications. Instead, there at the top, it says logged in. Yeah, that's gonna be blurred out, but it says logged in and it has my email address. So now we're gonna hit the Smart Hub button. We're gonna to go to our applications. And there we can see Netflix, YouTube, which is for some reason one that deletes, seven plus. Amazon videos, and if we go down to more applications, we will see Plex is another common one, uh, SBS On Demand, all that good stuff. Problem solved, hope this helps you. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.